here, don't be petty. Hit that subscribe button and join the mob, okay? Period. Today, y'all, we're gonna be in the kitchen. As the title say, your girl is about to whip up some meatloaf for the kids to eat. Um, it's almost seven o'clock, it's 6.50. So, your girl gotta get a gotta get started so i was gonna do this video without recording it so i kind of already started but i'm not too far in the game so i can you know bring y'all along with me but you know i told y'all previously i wanted to be consistent on the channel i wanted to bring y'all content whatever i'm doing i'm just gonna record it you know what i'm saying we're trying to grow over here we're on our way to 10k okay we have 70 subscribers so help your girl get there by subscribing for a vibe because it ain't nothing but vibes on this channel when y'all kicking it with kiana so, we about to get some meatloaf and stuff like that whipped up and I'm gonna show y'all how much I done done already and take y'all along the process with me. But like I said, be sure to like and subscribe for a vibe, okay y'all? Period. All right y'all, so right here, these are the seasonings that I'm gonna use for my meatloaf. I usually use other things, but being that I'm new in this house, I don't have everything that I really would need. So, so I got some black pepper, some Tony's Creole seasoning. You cannot go wrong with Tony's Creole. If you don't have none, get you some um, Laurie seasoned salt. And we got onion and we got garlic. And then right over here, I got the meat where I just seasoned it and I didn't even get to mix it up or anything like that yet because that's when I was like, let me bring the mob along with me, you know what I'm saying? Help them, you know, learn a new recipe or something. Like, it ain't even nothing new, y'all. It's just me cooking some meatloaf, okay? I ain't even about to even fake it to y'all. But, right over here, we gotta grab some eggs because you gotta put some eggs inside your meatloaf. Um, y'all, look at this. I done went to the store, I don't know how many times, and I still keep forgetting ketchup, y'all. So, we just sucking on for this for their life now at this point it's like throw it away like just throw it away all right y'all so right here that's where i got the meatloaf at and i'm just gonna like mix all this up so it can you know get mixed well together and stuff like that you know it's a little, little piece of frozen chunks in here y'all I thought the whole thing was unthawed, but it's like a little bit, so it's mainly unthawed. It's seven o'clock. We gotta get dinner together. All right, so then I mix it up, y'all, and then I just be like eyeballing it, you know, or letting the spirit guide me with the seasoning, and it's telling me that I need to add some more. <laughs> so we're gonna lightly go in with some onion, and then we're gonna lightly go in with some garlic. And we're gonna lightly go in with Laurie's. And the pepper. And then that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not even gonna add the Tony's because I added enough and trust me, Tony's goes far, y'all. All right, so I got this mixed up. All right, so once you get this all mixed up and combined, y'all, we got two eggs right here. I'm gonna go in with the eggs. If I need it, usually, it depending on your meat, but this is way more than a pound or two, so we gonna, I don't know, y'all. Hold on. Let me see. I don't want to touch all the dishes with my hands. All right. So. I feel another egg. I feel another egg. So we're going to do two eggs, y'all. And you get that combined. And mixed up pretty good. I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay guys, so I got a pan right here and we just gonna put the meatloaf inside this pan right here. And then that meat that we have, we're just gonna dump it in here like that, y'all. And then that's when we begin to like, pat it down and let it get its form. However you form your meatloaf, it's up to you. Whatever you feel. 
and you just play with it until you get the form that you want and need or desire I mean it's your meat love do what you want you want to pat it you want to put it in the balls do whatever you want to do y'all so I'm just gonna do mine's like a nice little rectangle size because that's just how I grew up with my mom in the kitchen making it look like a long rectangle and you just form it and shape it now of course it's hamburger meat ground beef y'all know this stuff is gonna shrink like crazy so it won't even be this big <laughs> when we uh when they get done cooking and then there you have it y'all you got a meatloaf and it's formed all right y'all so i'm also gonna do some green beans i personally I personally love the French style green beans y'all cut green beans is for the birds but I only had one can and I needed another can because everybody loves green beans and this is what they had on GoPub so we gotta use what we got to get what we want okay so we're gonna have meatloaf green beans and with my green beans You need that bacon in your green beans and your potatoes and your chopped up onions and all that but we ain't got all that we just got bacon <laughs> so we're gonna do bacon and I'm gonna, so I'm gonna turn the stove on like five or whatever we got the bacon I mean the green beans and for the juice I only drain one can of juice one can and then the other can, we're going to drain that grease in the sink. Got our other can of green beans drained. And we're just going to put them in there like that. No liquid, no none of that. I'm just gonna chop some bacon up and we're just gonna drop them off in here drop them off up in there like that and then that's about it y'all you're gonna have you some fire bacon green beans and you just put that all the way on low because you know the green beans is already cooked they just need to get warmed up so we're gonna do it like that. And then y'all need some butter. I don't know what y'all was thinking. Y'all probably was like, she ain't gonna put no butter in here. She ain't gonna put no butter in her green beans. Ugh, she nasty. Yes, ma'am, honey. You got to get that butter, okay? green beans on the stove simmering doing that little thing and then that's pretty much it until you know everything is done then I can do the mashed potatoes so I might just chop it up with y'all a little bit y'all because your girl has been going through it like I'm under like so much stress I don't know if you call it stress or just fed fed up your sis is fed up okay y'all I'm fed up okay so but yeah y'all sis is fed up and it's just you know going i'm just going crazy okay so it's march 2nd y'all it's march 2nd and your girl has been stuck in the house since basically last year from the second week of march because you know <laughs> corona came and just messed up everything for everybody you know so i just been stuck in the house then school was out and i've been at home with my kids non stop okay y'all i've been home with my kids non stop like not a break okay my husband is lucky but he, because he gets to go to work he gets to leave the house he gets to be away for like eight to ten hours and breathe and you know take a step back from parenting for the time that he's at work 
while me i'm a stay-at-home mom and i don't get to take a break and i don't get to step back and none of that y'all and the kids have been arguing like crazy fighting like crazy going at each other's necks like cats and dogs it's constant arguing constant fighting nobody's listening to me no more like i'm just here basically i'll say stop don't do this don't do that you need to go time out and it's not working like how do you constantly get in trouble and get yelled at about the same thing every single day like every single day every single day i'm yelling and mad and aggravated and frustrated and all the above like i need a vacation Yo, girl, need a vacation. I'm just done. I'm just, like, so over. It's like, what in the heck can I do to get my kids to, like, listen? I am so ready to just send him to school. So, like, we just moved here from Houston. If you don't know that because you don't follow me on the Pierce Family Channel, which is my family channel that I have. Uh, we just moved to Houston. Basically, we've been here a month and a day now. And yeah he hasn't started school yet i gotta turn his roman papers in tomorrow because the lady finally emailed me all the stuff yesterday and um i can send it in tomorrow so i'm gonna drop his paperwork and stuff like that off tomorrow so maybe that's the way i can probably meet people and become friends with someone here because trying to reach out to other people is like pulling teeth and it's like not even worth it and you know what i'm saying i'm not begging to be friends with nobody so i'm just like maybe in order for me to get out the house i'm just gonna have to like maybe meet up with some of junior's friends when he makes some friends here his his friends parents you know like and communicate like that and get out like that and or something y'all because sis need a vacation she need to be on somebody's beach with the chi chis out just enjoying life and taking a step back from parenting because i've been yeah this is bad okay i cannot i cannot okay i need to take at least a five to seven day vacay just to free and clear my mind just to free and clear my mind y'all but i just thought i would tell y'all that but we're about to get back into this video Ketchup, okay, or some barbecue sauce because of the kids, y'all. So, I got some barbecue sauce and I got that organic ketchup, y'all. So, I ordered this stuff, y'all. Look how little this thing is. Look how little this is. This was three dollars. I'm about to lie and say four. This was three dollars and some change, y'all. This was four nineteen, and this was cheaper than the original. Oh my gosh! And then I just got me. Um, I love bear watermelon and peach y'all so I got me something like this and then I got some more water y'all cuz I know I love me some water so I got uh, it's just water it's just water it's just water do, 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 do. Uh, uh. Y'all, so we about to check on this meatloaf and see what it's looking like and what Alright y'all, so this is what the meatloaf is looking like, y'all. Look how bare it look. It look butt ass naked without no barbecue. Y'all, I see how naked it looks. So we just gonna make sure we uh dress it up some because that is not it. 
and then I'm just gonna rub this in here and I'm gonna let this do its thing in the oven for like a another 20 to 30 minutes all right y'all so I'm just gonna add some barbecue sauce on here and yeah all right, y'all, so here's the meatloaf. We're about to put it back in the oven for like 20 to 30 minutes. I got it in a different little pan or whatever because this is just so tacky to me and ugly to me. I always do this because all that grease and everything. So I let it cook for an hour in the oven, covered up with the foil and all this. But then when I have to uncover it, I want to just do it like this because, of course, this is a pan I'm going to cut and serve it in. And I don't want it to be too much grease on like this one. That's just my personal preference. You don't gotta be all extra like that, but that's just something I do, y'all. All right, y'all, so today we using these Idaho and potatoes, okay, y'all? The buttery home style is really good. I like the buttery ones, the loaded ones. Um, I can't think of the other ones that I do like, but for sure, those two most definitely. So we're gonna do these, something quick, something simple, cause I don't got no potatoes to peel, and yeah. And I bought this little gravy packet for just um, me because I'm the only one that really like gravy on my meatloaf and my mashed potatoes. My husband really don't care. He's more of a ketchup or a barbecue type of person and the kids too. So that's why I had to order it because they would have been hot. Like, what is this? Where's the, where's the sauce, mom? Where's the sauce? So yeah, we're about to get started on the mashed potatoes, y'all. Right here, I got, y'all can't even see me. All right, so right here, I got, Four cups of water boiling in here. So bring this to a boil, then we'll add that and it's gonna cook in like 2.5 seconds. It's gonna be done, y'all. And then I got the green beans over here, which I'm about to put those back on low, like all the way on low because we want them to be, you know, good and hot when it's time to eat. All right, so right here, I got the gravy. I got the gravy, if y'all can see. I don't want it to spill, y'all, but I got the gravy and I'm just sitting here, you know, whipping, water whipping it, you know what I'm saying? Just so it don't be lumpy or nothing like that. You don't want no lumpy gravy, you want it to be nice and smooth. And y'all, this is just something quick and easy because usually I would make my gravy on the stove, but I feel like I didn't make like no meat or nothing on the stove with the leftover juices and all that to do the flour with the, you know. Nah, this is gonna be just as good, just simple and quick. So don't be in them comments like, oh, she can't cook. She ever using store packet gravy? Like who does that? Kiana does that. That's who does that. Kiana does that, period. Boiling, so we gonna open this up. Y'all, this is a quick simple dinner, okay? We're gonna pour that in there, just like that. And then, you might as well just turn it off, honey, because it's done. You just need to let it cook by the heat and stir it. Then you just take it off the burner, and you just get to stirring it, y'all. Y'all see how it's hot and it's just popping and going crazy like it ain't got no manners? No manners at all. I'm trying to stir this up, y'all, with one hand, so bear with me. Hold on. We're gonna go in there, y'all know you need some butter, okay? You need some butter. See a little bit of the salt, just a little bit. Yeah, so this, the gravy is starting to get thick, so it's basically about done. So I just went ahead on and turned it off. And the green beans is over there warming up. <laughs> Y'all look at my fork. Y'all should know better to use a plastic fork, but you know, I was just doing something quick and simple. Y'all look at the fork, all bent up, okay? <laughs> Also, right here, we got the green beans. They're done with the bacon in there, looking all yummy and stuff. And we got the mashed potatoes right here, y'all. Those are done. 
And then we got the gravy over here, which is done. And then guys, just look at the meatloaf. Looking like some ribs or something. What <laughs> y'all? So now it's time to plate it and eat. And then there you have it. There's the kids plate. They about to eat good. They don't like gravy on theirs. And then here's mine. All right, y'all. So I'm about to give it a try. You know, we're about to try this meatloaf. Let's see what it's doing. Mhm. Mm see that? This is mine. This is my very first time ever trying meatloaf without my uh, pepper, my uh, chili powder and my Lipton onion soup mix, y'all. So, me just freehand and seasoning it, it's fine. It's fine. So, I'm gonna try these mashed potatoes. Mmm, mashed potatoes, boo boo. These mashed potatoes go with yeah, yeah. Fire. Green beans make it one of shit. Oh, y'all can't even see. Green beans is fire too, y'all. So, on a scale of one to ten, I'm giving this whole entire meal right here eleven. Hands down, baby. If y'all make this, comment down below. Let me know. Try it out. Your girl did her thing, and I'm out. All right, you guys, so there you have it. That's it, cooking with Kiana. We made some meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and some green beans with the bacon inside. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash the like button for me, please, and subscribe for vibe. Make sure your post notifications are on all, always on all, so you can be notified every single time or whenever I upload a video. And you guys, comment down below and let me know if you guys enjoy this type of content. Do you guys like me in the kitchen cooking or whatever? If you guys wanted me to cook something else that you, you guys enjoy this type of content. You know, I'm trying to bring y'all content and be consistent and just bring y'all something new. If y'all like the cooking, the fitness, the what I eat in a day, the vlogging, the, whatever y'all want to see on this channel, comment down below and let me know. And then y'all going to tell me what y'all like anyway because the views is going to let me know. Alright y'all, my camera had died, so now I gotta use my phone. So comment down below and let me know what y'all prefer from me on this channel. But like I said, I'm just gonna be giving y'all content, okay? Period. You like it, you like it, you love it, you love it, you don't. That sucks. But in the meantime, thanks for kicking it with Kiana. Until next time, we're gonna see y'all in the next video.